Hello, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time for this Thursday. We are in the book of Acts, chapter 23 this morning, continuing our journey with Paul and the other apostles in the book of Acts. Um, we left off yesterday, and Paul had been brought before the high council, and today we see that continued conversation and what takes place. Uh, beginning at verse 1 um, of chapter 23, gazing intently at the high council, Paul began, brothers, I have always lived before God with a clear conscience. Instantly, Ananias, the high priest, commanded those close to Paul to slap him on the mouth. But Paul said to him, God will slap you, you corrupt hypocrite. What kind of judge are you to break the law yourself by ordering me struck like that? Those standing near Paul said to him, do you dare to insult God's high priest? I'm sorry, brothers, I didn't realize he was the high priest, Paul replied. For the scriptures say you must not speak evil of any of your rulers. Paul realized that some of the members of the high council were Sadducees and some were Pharisees. So he shouted, brothers, I am a Pharisee, as were my ancestors, and I am on trial because my hope is in the resurrection of the dead. This divided the council, the Pharisees against the Sadducees, for the Sadducees say there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, but the Pharisees believe in all of these. So there was a great uproar. Some of the teachers of religious law who were Pharisees jumped up and began to argue forcefully. We see nothing wrong with him, they shouted. Perhaps a spirit or an angel spoke to him. As the conflict grew more violent, the commander was afraid they would tear Paul apart. So he ordered his soldiers to go and rescue him by force and take him back to the fortress. That night, the Lord appeared to Paul and said, be encouraged, Paul, just as you have been a witness to me here in Jerusalem, you must preach the good news in Rome as well. So this um, encounter that Paul has with the high council is all part of the um, ongoing uh, narrative of the the really the beginning of the church and how things uh, panned out and how how God um, orchestrated things to um, see the church become what it is. Um, and we see that Paul is um, he's a controversial figure. Um, as we've talked about, he's controversial with the Jews in general. Uh, he's controversial with the Christians because many of them still had doubts about him. He's controversial with the high council of the, the Jewish leaders. He's controversial with the Romans because he was first on their side and then he wasn't. And it just seems that everywhere Paul went, there was controversy. You know, that's not uncommon when people who are followers of Jesus truly begin to, to live their lives for him. It it causes controversy because the message of the gospel is absolutely controversial to those who do not believe. It is a great, the great pushback to all of culture because what it says is that man is not God, but that God is God and that our sin has separated us from God and there's only one remedy for that. And so the great controversy stems and boils down to one thing and one thing only, and that is Jesus and what he did for us. I want to take you back to um, verse 6 when Paul says, when the Bible says this, Paul realized that some members of the high council were Sadducees and some were Pharisees. So he shouted, brothers, I am a Pharisee, as were my ancestors. And I am on trial because my hope is in the resurrection of the dead. Now, he goes on to explain that the uh, Pharisees believed in resurrection. The Sadducees did not. That, that's a, a, a debate for another time. What is important here is the great controversial issue of all time is the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. You see, our, our hope and our faith is built on nothing less than the reality 
that Jesus rose from the dead. If he did not rise from the dead, everything else is futile. Everything else has no standing at all. But because Jesus did rise from the dead, we have hope in the resurrection that one day we will be resurrected to live for eternity with our heavenly father. That's what Jesus came to do. That's what he came to provide. And when, when we present that to people, it is controversial because they have to make the decision. Are they going to believe that God is God, that Jesus rose from the dead, or are they going to believe the lie that we are God, that humans are God, and that we make our own rules? It's controversial and it causes problems. But I want to encourage you today, and I want to challenge you today, that the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead is real. And it is the basis for everything that we build our faith upon. So let us today hold to that truth that Jesus died on a cross for the sins of mankind. He was buried in a borrowed tomb, spent three days in that tomb. And on the third day, God breathed life back into his body and he rose from the dead. That is the hope that we hold on to. That's a great message for this Thursday. I pray that you will cling to it. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we come to you and we thank you that you are our hope. You are our living hope. You are the resurrection. You are the resurrected Christ, and our hope is in you and in you alone. Help us to live by that. Help us to proclaim that as we go through this life. And we pray this in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Well, I trust that you will have a wonderful Thursday. Um, go out there and live your life for Christ because he gave his life for you. Until tomorrow. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus. Have a great day. May God bless you. Take care.